Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today we are going to discuss one of the most interesting and frequently asked question in interview is called Selenium architecture because many people have complete knowledge about Selenium they have in-depth knowledge about Selenium but when it comes to explaining the architecture they are not that uh, comfortable because they don't know the internal part so in this video we are going to talk about the Selenium architecture so before I jump into the architecture, we need to talk about one term called JSON Wire Protocol. So if you just go to, go to their official uh, link, okay. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the official GitHub repository for Selenium, and in one of the like uh, Selenium uh, Git repository, if you go, this is the main Git repository for Selenium. We have JSON Wire Protocol, and this is the same thing which I copied in my slide called all the web driver commands which we trigger right or whatever we communicate with the browser it use one common wire protocol and this protocol is nothing but a restful service and all the communication happens in JSON format over HTTP protocol okay so whatever commands or whatever activity you do on your browser everything or whatever commands you trigger from Selenium it calls the API so if you just go ahead uh, you will see they have given complete API details for each and everything and with the response code so let me show you if you just go ahead can you see this command summary and these are the HTTP methods which uh, we are going to use in Selenium and when you call these methods these are the path okay so URI path and they have given beautiful description about each and every API which they trigger. Very basic thing like when you start your session, so it make a post call, so it will create a new session. And when you say driver dot quit, it deletes the or delete the session, or I will say it will close the session. And this is the URL, or I will say the path which it use. Whenever you do find element, find elements navigate back navigate forward everything makes an api call and you can see they have given a huge list of apis for each and every activity right so whether you say get title it's a get call get page source it's a get call right so everything they have documented and now if you go back to the top of the page for selenium 4 they have written again since selenium 4 is totally based on w3 standards so they have revamp the complete uh, API and you will see everything is now coming under W3 standard so now if you see here for navigations all these APIs are getting called so they have documented accordingly each and every methods which it calls it will make an API call and the payload which it sends and the response it will get okay so uh, do not get confused once you move forward I will talk about this more so just the simple terms whatever you do on your selenium let's say driver dot find element it is making one api call okay over http so this is how it works let's say you're working with java so whenever you, you use any java binding and you use a specific method it internally makes an api call via json via protocol okay and now we have the drivers right for each and every browser we have a driver let's say chrome driver Firefox driver or Gecko driver, IE driver, Safari driver. So these APIs communicate with the drivers and finally these drivers will make or it will perform the activity on the respective browser. And as we know when you make API call, when you send requests, definitely you will get a response code. So once your activity is done, it will also send the response back. Okay, so based on your API call, you will get the respective response if you are making get call or the post call or the delete call you will get the respond, uh, uh, corresponding response via json file and that will come back to you via http so now if you see the complete architecture it is something like this on the left hand side we have all the language binding you take java c sharp python ruby these binding are just a programming languages right but internally all this works in the same principle all this language binding will make a 
API call via JSON via protocol. Respect to driver will take care and they will directly behave on the browser. So this is how exactly internally uh, Selenium works when you say uh, driver dot switch to driver dot switch to alert frames everything is an API call. That's the reason you will see this definition many times that Selenium is a set of library or Selenium is a set of APIs. Okay, so uh, just go ahead and see this APIs. You will not understand maybe completely, but at least you will get one idea how these APIs are designed, what payload they accept, what response uh, response we get, what response code we get. And if you're not able to understand the current, uh, I will say the documentation, you can definitely go back to the previous documentation. Somehow, somehow I find this one is more easy. Okay, they have given what kind of capabilities uh, it exists, right? And uh, these are the cookies based object. These are the log based objects. And these are the final command and the responses. So when you get a stale element reference exception, you get response code at 10. So they have designed in a such a way that each and everything have a proper response code. Whether it's a timeout exception, no window exception, invalid cookie exception, or any kind of exception, have a proper response code. And the last thing, in case if you want to see how uh, this log files, so this is one of the sample log files. When you create a basic script, when you make certain um, find elements commands, you can see this find element, type element, find element, type element, find element, and click element. So everything is happening via API call. You are sending the request, you are getting the response. So if you are able to design this diagram in interviews, it is more than enough. Because this is how exactly Selenium works. And if you want to demonstrate the same, you can implement the same thing via program. And so in the next video, I will show you how you can get this logs, how you can get this API calls which is happening. If you want to see the response, how the response is coming from the server everything will come in the log file okay so i will show you in the next video so that's all i have i hope you understand the selenium architecture still if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section and i will try to make more videos on this that's all i have for this video thanks a lot for watching have a nice day bye bye